Welcome to Crazy Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm CNC9. I'm Ike, the explosive one, and we're starting the timer. Boom. 10 minutes or less. So, TNT. Yo. We just talked about uh, a few episodes ago. We talked couple, about a lot of things. Yeah, about man. a weird, like, like kids that couldn't be prosecuted for attacking people. Right? Oh, yeah. I remember that from the other day. So, here's another weird circumstance. Sure. So, cause you, you, you take your car... You have, a, you have a stick car, right? Manual drive. You don't. I mean, you don't. But, like, you take I, your I manual. I don't even know how to drive stick, dude. Right, me neither. <laughs> but so you take your man. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm good. I'm not alone. <laughs> your manual to the, to the dealership, right? You're like, hey, I need an oil change. Mm -hmm. And you drop your car off, and you just go sit in the lobby and read Popular Mechanic or whatever, right? That's what I usually read. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, do you know? I, I mean, I, I see them come in the mail every month. Uh, and uh, one of the employees... Goes out to start your car and doesn't know how to start, you know, start a stick. You know, sometimes if you don't start a stick prop properly, it'll, it'll jump. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they jump the car into another employee and kill them. Wow. So, in this, in this situation, wow. the 42-year-old mechanic was killed by a 19-year-old employee of the dealership because he started the car, it jumped, and it hit the guy and killed him. Wow. Pinned him against the wall or something. Wow. They're suing you. They're suing the person who brought the car in? Yes. Yes. That's the person who is facing charges in this. The guy who was sitting in the The lobby. guy who's like, here, change my oil. I'm going to go read Popular Mechanic. He's getting sued. How? Are, how, how right. There, there's this no goes, grounds for he goes, this. There's no So grounds. here's the thing. They're asking the question. Did the 19-year-old know how to drive stick? He did not know how to drive stick, and he had no license. Oh, my Why God. Why did the dealership hire him? That's what I'd like to know. But hold on one minute. You must be suing the dealership. We can't because of a legal standard that is involved. What's the legal standard? It's the that standard that the employee of the place can't be sued. for. I don't, it, like, it didn't even make sense. Basically, whatever it was. Did he sign something? Well, but it's, it's, I think it's a legal. I don't know. But like, there's if he had no signed way. something, I could see that. But I think what it is, is from, from working in insurance stuff. There are certain states that the owner can be responsible for a tort, which a tort yeah. is a you okay. Know, okay. owner yeah, driver. Yeah, 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 sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's the owner. Sometimes, usually it's the driver that is it can yeah. be responsible. But in some states, the owner and the driver are responsible yeah. if they don't have insurance. And in some states, uh, neither one are. Yeah, exactly. It's just who you, you're in a damage. It's whatever. Yeah. So in I think what the situation is is the employee of the thing is protected from being responsible so the owner can still be responsible because they own the vehicle yeah. but like because essentially and I, I had that happen when i used to work in insurance it was like somebody's like the owner's like i why do i owe the money i wasn't driving it but yeah you let this person drive your car without insurance yeah. and they can't pay so now you got to pay because it's your car you should have not let someone drive your car but like you just take it to the dealer to be like fix my oil yo and they're like yeah no, i'm gonna murder a guy for you thanks yeah if anything it seems to me is that, I mean, he can he'd have to shoot shoot the dealership afterwards, right? I guess, and it would ha it, it, I think it would have to be more of a civil suit than a it, like he can't go to they're not going to take the dude to prison. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he could be financially responsible. I mean, but he has insurance, so insurance would pro like I, what my feeling of this, knowing so what I know about insurance, is it's probably an insurance issue of why he's not they can't go after the nineteen year old. Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. His insurance company is going to fight the shit out of this. I mean, not being able to sue a 19-year-old is one thing. Suing the deal, uh, the company itself, because they're, that's gross negligence on their behalf. The fact that they hired a 19-year-old. Um, who didn't even have a license. The 19-year-old is fine, I guess. The fact that he didn't have a license, the fact that he didn't know how to drive a stick and jump behind a car with stick instead of having one of the employees who did know how to drive <laughs> right. stick. You right. Know, that's, that's gross negligence on their behalf. He should be fired, obviously. Yeah. He killed somebody. Body, yeah, you know, um, and the company would be held responsible. But I, I just think that is crazy how they me immediately the first thing that you have to do in this state. What state is this? Texas. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what state it was. You thought I was asking what state I lived in? <laughs> Is that what you thought? Honestly. I, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm stopping the entire honestly, train of thought. Honestly, what happened was I looked down to check the time and realized I hadn't started the timer. And then I only half heard what you said. And then you said, what state is this? And I say Texas. And then it makes me feel like I don't. It may seem like so, I don't believe in you. But no, I believe in you. So, wait. 
Why would Texas be the first thing, though? This is what I want to know. Uh, my brain, you thought I was my asking? My brain heard <laughs> what state is this, and I just was like. You I thought was, I didn't know? No, I was distracted because I hadn't <laughs> set the timer. So the first instinct was, what state is this? And I'm like, Texas, because that's where we live. <laughs> But I should know that. You would. I would think this had nothing to do with you. It was all my brain's initial. Re- Sometimes you know we go on autopilot. And you'll be like, "Oh, let me look at this thing," and you like, my brain heard what state is this, and okay. I just answered. No, it's fair. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what state this is that this this incident happened in, but I I think it's that Florida. We'll say Florida. It make it make yeah, it probably like it does thing. sound like Florida. It makes you look at the way that the justice system is handled. It's like, come on, this is like one of those things where like no matter what your rules are on books. This is an come obvious, on, ex- like, yeah, this is an obvious yeah. exception. It's come on, man. Like, really? Like, yeah. w- why isn't this kid at fault? Like, yeah. like, look at the story. Every judge that looks at that story is going to be like, oh, so we're just going to have to shoot, sue the company. Sue the- <laughs> right. Well, and if I was the owner, <laughs> that's what I, I would sue them for negligence of, of like, why did you hire this inept yeah, yeah. employee? Because it's obviously not going to fall on the employee. They're not going to haul the seven, 19-year-old off the prison. How are you going to work at? How are you going to hire anyone at a car dealership that doesn't drive, that doesn't have a license? Like you literally, even though even the wash boy has to drive the cars in and out of like the, what can you do at a dealership if you don't have a license? I mean, sweep the parking lot. It, it, <laughs> look, Jonas, I'd be lying if I said I was qualified for every job I've ever taken in life. Like, have you ever heard of people who like take a job they don't know anything about it and they'll see how long they can get away with it? They'll like lie in their resume. And stuff, and just be like, oh, yeah, I've done that. And then they just fake it till you make it. And then, like, while they're on a the job, they're actually, like, Googling how to do Oh, yeah, things. yeah, yeah. Oh, I read that. I think we did a story on the podcast where the guy who was, like, he got hired as a programmer and then found yeah. a cheaper rate in, like, India and was yeah. paying a guy to do his work and paying him, like, one third of it. He just basically had a free job. He was making yeah. a third of the salary doing nothing and had a whole other job. Yes. <laughs> it was like... Yo, see, he, he figured it out. And whether he knew how to program or not is he could have not known how to program, and still he's just a genius in that matter. Right? Yeah. So will people hire bad employees? Yes. Will people hire employees who lie? Yes. Um, in this case, you got a just a kid. It's an accident. 100%. Yeah, but like it's hard. Like you have to give them your. They like when you get hired at places that you need to drive, they run DMV records on you to make sure that you aren't like a drunk, have nine drunk driving arrests. Yeah, well, this kid was probably his niece's daughter. The owner's daughter, daughter yeah. Yeah, it's probably like owner's the owner's daughter's boyfriend. Yeah. He's, he's good, dad. Don't worry about him. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's like, Machine Gun is his last name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny Machine Gun. <laughs> no, no, it's Machine Gun Johnny. Johnny. Machine Gun Johnson. Oh, you could put any name at the yeah. end of Machine Gun. Machine Gun Jonas. Machine. Welcome to the new era of Crazy Town. This is Machine Gun Jonas. MGJ. <laughs> Machine Gun James here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a so, good name. But yeah, I don't know, man. I just... <sighs> the world has so... Okay, how do I want to phrase this? It's a sad state of the world where everyone has to operate within the gray area instead of doing what's right. Like, you know this 19-year-old kid is a 1,000% at fault. The company's at fault for hiring him. Yet, there's a law somewhere that was made for a completely different reason, and now this dude gets gray area into not being charged with mur- manslaughter because... Because of a gray area. Yeah, yeah. I have to say is that it, it that it's weird that laws even exist in the way that they do, where they change from state to state. Like, what would take? What would make a state choose that direction other than like something more standard? Yeah, and that's what I mean. I'm sure there what, was a what? situation that came up mm. that that law was warranted, probably in 1897. Oh, and it just haven't. It, it, and it's just one of those of. laws that, like, you never know. Like, you know, those stupid laws used to be in the Snapple. Like, oh, in Ohio, in Youngstown, Ohio, it's illegal to run out of gas, and you're yeah. like. Who's getting charged with so that? So what like is it is it like the fact of like uh is it like the differential between like uh people who have a lot of money and like the poverty line in the state where they're like, look, if you get into an accident, you gotta handle your damage, you gotta handle your damage, uh, versus like you ran into my car, you have to pay for it type of thing. Yeah. 
I don't I just know. Don't know. I don't I, know. And, and it's just weird. And that's like, I mean, I guess that's one of the negatives of having like 50 independent states. Because I mean, even look at like something with the pandemic, COVID response was <laughs> I different. You were gonna say it because <laughs> you were gonna say it. I was gonna say what? I thought you were gonna nothing, dude. You know, you know, it's on everybody's lips. Oh, I keep don't know. It go- keep it going. I don't know. What you're but it, every the way each state handled the pandemic was uh-huh. different. Uh, Some were like, we're not doing shutting stuff down. We're, we're not doing masks. And other ones were like, everybody has to wear a mask. Shut down the whole city. Yeah. And that, and even that like causes all sorts of different problems. Yeah, man. Like it, it is kind of crazy Like on, in certain states how you can have certain procedures done if you so decide to. Oh, yeah. Oh, because yeah, I, you I feel, I feel like, like it's your you God-given right to have them done. Right. And in certain and, states, you can't. Right. Exactly. And and, and I think that you know the gov- our, our whole co- – well, this is probably over, but – the whole point of our of our government time. is federal is federal stuff. Yeah, they try not to be involved in the states. It's, that's the purpose of having fifty independent states. And right? I agree with that, but it's there bullshit. should be certain things that are all aligned on the federal level. Now, yeah, and honestly, to say look, and I understand is that certain people with certain political beliefs are uh, proponents for that ideal of like little government involvement. But that's bullshit. Well, right. I mean, it's even look at bullshit. taxes are even different. Like some some places you have to pay city and state and some, federal. And some, Others yeah, you yeah, just yeah, pay yeah, federal. Yeah. You don't pay city or state. Some you pay state and not city. Mm-hmm. It's like, why why does the people in Ohio get screwed and have to pay like 29% of their income because they got to do federal, state, and local? In Texas, you just pay your 18 flat federal and don't have any pain but you don't there's no tax on food no yeah that's true but anyways we're i'm sure we're over that's all time we have today's episode oh no, jones we gotta talk about roe v wade go go to the crazy <laughs> and subscribe for jonas uh, we have